Hey crypto bros and sisters, welcome back to the channel as always. Help your boy out by liking and subscribing to the channel only if you gain any value from this video. All right guys, let's jump right into the crypto news. I did a couple videos about Binance US and Binance International having issues with the Security Exchange Commission, also known as the SEC, way before the SEC asked for the courts to freeze Binance US asset, guys. Fast forward today, the federal judge overseeing the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission case against Binance and Binance U.S. declined to order a temporary restraining order freezing the U.S. trading platform assets. The judge informed the SEC that Binance U.S. could continue doing business while the U.S. figures out restrictions and regulations of the industry, guys. We have judges, senators, exchanges, and the community saying the same thing about the SEC and their aggressive attack against the crypto industry as a whole. The judge hammered the SEC attorney about their motion to freeze all the company's assets. At times, the judge seemed frustrated by the response she was hearing when asking whether any Binance U.S. customer funds have actually left the U.S. After multiple SEC attorneys said that they were mainly concerned about the fact that Binance Global Platform controlled enough private key shards to move funds. This is a straight quote from the judge. I want to know if it's happening or not, she said. It's stunning that I've asked each of you this question. The SEC lawyers couldn't give a concrete answer, guys. This Judge Amy is laying the smack down on these lawyers. If the two sides can agree on the limits, Judge Amy Berman Jackson of the D.C. District Court said, there's absolutely no need for a restraining order. In the meantime, the judge ordered Binance U.S. to provide a list of its business expenses to the courts and order the parties to continue negotiating. A status update is due by close of business day Thursday. A representative of Binance US said they mainly want to be allowed normal operating expenses and that they were not willing to accept the death penalty representing by a total freeze of their assets. Jennifer Fahir, an SEC lawyer, told the judge Tuesday, we are open to the business continuing to operate. The SEC is struggling, guys. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, Please like and subscribe, like I said in my opening. It really helps the channel, guys. I'll talk to you guys later.